Do you want to gather round, everybody? Don't want to, I don't want to steal Anna's thunder, but I just wanted to give you a feel for what a, this sort of soil looks like with <coughs> where it's been ploughed and Vedastad drilled. So as we, as we sort of tease the, the soil away, you can see it's falling off my knife almost vertically. Uh, the, 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 the key thing to watch for is if the soil starts to fail horizontally, there's a sign of compaction. Generally a sign of compaction is, is, a, is a horizontal platy structure. We've, we've basically got a nice series of open pores in the soil, hopefully. And if we, if we get compaction, then it squeezes most of those pores into horizontal slits. And then if we get a lot of wheel slip, we squeeze them in both directions, we've got a real problem. So the combination of axle load and wheel slip gives us the real issues. But we'll talk about that later on. I just, I just want you to look here at the, the way that soil is falling nicely off the knife. We haven't got any real horizontal ledges anywhere. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. It's, it's nice, it, it's moist and wet, but it's in pretty good condition. So if you can sort of hold that in your memory bank for when we move on to the other cultivated areas, it's a good point of reference. This is subsoil to uh, nine inches and then par harrowed and then drilled with the barbs there. You can probably see here how much more that layer has, has been created by the power harrow. I'm not sort of cheating, I, it's just, it's falling away until I get to that layer and then it's becoming difficult to get through. It's actually bottom of your power harrowing, which has sort of stirred and created a, it's the starting of a pan basically. And you can see it's, it's, it's very wet. It's, it's moisture is almost wringing out of that. Uh, very closed structure, not many open pores, virtually none. I know power harrows are a necessary equi equipment sometimes when nothing else will work, but they can stir a, a problem. We talk about assessing plastic limits. If you can roll the worm out like that, then we're well wetter than the lower plastic <laughs> limit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this, would, this should start to fracture and crumble. Uh, at lower plastic limit or it probably on this type of soil won't actually form a worm because it's quite it's quite a lot of sand in it but yeah it's it's not it's it's nearly got not got enough sand in to form one it's just a touch of tightness here but it's just down to how it was drilled when it was I guess a little bit wet when you drill this looking at it yeah. Just, just yeah. No, that there. was, that was, that was. Well, you know, because well, it's a 70 hectare block on its own, so when we come over here, we want to try and get, you know, get it all drilled in one go. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We bring lots of bits of kit yeah. over. And and the 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 plastic limit test is 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 probably evident here. That's well wetter than your your lower plastic limit. Um, <coughs> whether we can. Trying to find a piece to uh, here we go. This bit will be about right. I think that's that's certainly drier than the well dry to the lower plastic limit, and this will be in the middle about friable, where it's just on the edge of crumbling when it forms that worm. It's just crumbling down. It's a little bit drier than that. So, you know, from the point of view of cultivations, well, what depth are you expecting to find it like that before you'll go then? Well. Really, it depends whether you're doing a, making a seed bed or you, if, if you're deeper loosening or doing a deeper cultivation. So, seed bed wise, if, if, you, if, if you're going to the depth of your seed bed, it really wants to be down to that, that sort of crumbly consistency before you, ideally, before you go on it. Yeah, yeah. And so, if you're saying that if you want to go subsoiling, you've got to get that right the way down through your profile. It's got to be dry at the bottom. It, it, it's, it's, yeah. Um, and it, 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 the difference between this and just on the edge of crumbling is probably in an ideal time in an autumn situation only a couple of three days sometimes. It's not long. 
It's drying out of my hand now and that won't be far away from crumbling. It's nearly starting, not quite, but and patience is that thing and it's so easy for me to stand, any of us to stand here and say wait when you need to get on. It's very difficult to do in practice, isn't it? Yeah. it is. well, well, once that worm starts to crack like that, and it, it's drying in my hand here, once it starts to crack like that, then you're in a position where you, that friable consistency, will, the, soil, the soil will break down. Yeah. So whatever you do to stir it will start to break the aggregates down. Oh, and and, yeah, and in, in, yeah. in, fairness, in fairness, you want to be to the drier end of that for subsoiling because we're really trying to put in some some vertical fishes. Yeah.